Okay, the final thing uh, for the wrestling to get on top or to get a good position right from the wrestling is very similar to what we were doing on the knees when we snapped the head down, but now we're doing it from the feet. It's a little bit harder from the feet, and if he's more of a guy that stands more upright rather than a crouched wrestling stance, he's more like a judo guy, and his head is upright, he's 6'4", it's going to be really hard for me to pull his head all the way down to my armpit. So if we're, if we're wrestling and I see him standing upright, I'm going right to the arm drags, right to the single leg. If I see him like more like a wrestler, like he's crouched, now this is easy. He just made himself a smaller guy by just his stance. And a lot of guys do this. So that's great. So boom, I'll do exactly what we were doing before. I'll go to the neck grip, inside grip, I'll give him a push, and now we're on the feet. So now when I push him, he knows he's got the power to push right back in. Boom. I lock here. Okay. Now if he double legs me, I don't care because I know I have a good chance of finishing that guillotine. My arms are in place. So what I'm going to do is once I use my hand to push his head under my armpit, I'm going to go right to the chin, around the arm, and now I'm here. Front headlock. So I want to get him to the ground. I want to get him to the exact position we were in when we were on our knees. So I want to get him to his knees. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to sprawl straight back because he can double leg me off that. I always like to walk around in a circle aggressively and so that he has to, instead of like, someone pulls me down straight and just kind of walk with him. But if someone twists around, it's going to be hard to twist around without falling like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push him a little bit and then oh, we're going to fall through the floor like this. And now, I'm not going to reteach what I already showed you from the knees, it's the exact same thing. If I want the guillotine, I'm just going to sit, slide underneath, throw the leg over. If the arm is in like it is, Head down, wrist through, just a quick review. If the arm is out, elbow up, pull it through. Okay, or, of course, once it falls, what I like to do the best is spin around to the back. If it's gi, I instantly start looking for the clutch. If it's no gi, I'm looking for the back. Like I said, the bigger guys will leave the hooks open more often than not. If you start going for the throat now, he grabs my wrist. Boom, there's the first hook. There's the second hook. 